Welcome back students upon the much awaiting request from the many students of civil engineering. I have come up with the latest questions for the course fluid mechanics under J into H for R18 regulation. The course fluid mechanics is very much interesting for the civil as well as mechanical engineering and you are going to work out the HHM in the next semester too. I have come up with the short questions and the long questions. I am going to highlight few important concepts. Please do not skip this video and watch till the L. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do it immediately by pressing a bell icon. You are going to receive the latest notification and I am going to let you know which units you are supposed to prepare for an average student and an excellent student to score out of outmark and clear this course in the first attempt. The first and foremost unit I have taken into the consideration is unit 1 which is a basic fundamental each and every students need to undergo this unit before going to take this course difference between the fluid and solid may be the short question and the properties of the fluids is set with a gun short question for sure and the problems related to it like you are supposed to work out the density specific weight specific gravity and the viscosity kinetic viscosity as well as dynamic viscosity and the relations between them as well as the problems is set with the topmost question define the term capillarity and you are supposed to work out the derivative and problems related to it and the surface tension is also said to be the short question. The Newton law of viscosity and the problems and the Newtonian and non-Newtonian fluids are said to be the topmost question and the differences you are supposed to work out each and every parameter which I am going to highlight here in form of very important questions as the pattern is all about part A as well as part B. Define the term compressibility and cavitation may be the short question. The short questions may be asked from any corner of the uh, the course you are supposed to work out each and every parameter defined pressure and the units and the problems related to it and the Pascal's law and the derivation is said to be the topmost question which may occur for the 5 mark this time. Different types of manometers is said to be the very very important and gunshot question and the types and the differences and the problems any one type of manometer and the differences and the problems will be asked for sure this time. Micrometers and pressure gauges is the short questions beyond C and the stability of floating bodies land list out and work out the gauge pressure, vacuum pressure as well as the absolute pressure along with the diagram is said to be the topmost question. You are not supposed to skip any part of the question failing which you are not going to clear this course. Later I have come up with the unit 2 and students who are taking the unit 1 supposed to work out even the unit 2 dear students as it is very short in its structure and you are supposed to get the fundamentals of the unit 1 and unit 2 before going to take the unit 3. Define the terms like streamline, path line and streak line is said to be the topmost question. Types of flows where the types of flows is said to be the very important question that may be in the form of long or short. If they are asking 2 to 3 differences that may be the short and if they are asking you list out the different types of fluids, flows in the fluid you are supposed to work out like 1D, 2D, rotational, irrotational, compressible, incompressible along with their examples you need to write in very neat handwriting in point wise study, study as well as unsteady flow. You uniform as well as non-uniform flow. If they are giving particular type of flow you are supposed to highlight. If not, if the question is like list out the different types of flows you are supposed to work out all these flows. Difference between a real fluid and ideal fluid is also said to be very important in form of short and the laminar and turbulent flows are problems related to is a much awaiting question this time in the course. Derive the continuity equation is a 5 mark question. Do not expect direct 10 mark question. It is a split of 5 5 combination. Force versus free vortex flow is a 2 mark question. Stream function and potential function is said to be a 2 mark question and the very important and gunshot question this may occur for sure damn 100% is derive an expression for the Bernoulli's equation from the Euler's equation. This is said to be the very very important question and the assumptions need to be worked out. It derive a momentum equation and the problems related to it and all the problems related to all the concepts are said to be the very important questions for the course fluid mechanics for civil engineering students. Later, the unit 3 is all about the Bernoulli's applications. List out the Bernoulli's applications. You are supposed to work out the venturi meter, orifice meter and the pitot tube and the derivations and the problems related to it to work out the discharge of the flow, pipe bend and the force exerted by the fluid flow and the problem is set to be the topmost question and the broad crested wear is a two mark question. Expression for the discharge of a rectangular wear in a terms of head of water over and crest of a wear related to the crest of a wear. This type of expressions related to the rectangular wear is set to be the gunshot question. The velocity approaches and the expression and the triangular versus trapezoidal notches as well as the expressions and the problems do not work out only the theory. It is a complete 100% derivative as well as problematic dear students. We can expect in form of short 
the short questions may be the theory, but whereas the long questions are only the problems. Later the unit 4 is Darcy's West back equation is said to be the expression and the gunshot question, the pipes in parallel and pipes in series and the problems related to it is said to be one of the much awaiting question this time in the question paper, list out the major and minor losses in the pipes is said to be the short question, says this formula and Darcy's formula may be 2 and 3 mark, define the term symphon, 3 reserve wire problem and the water hammer, these all are said to be the very short short questions in the question paper this time do not neglect the short questions they are of 2 and 3 mark combination which will be asked this time for sure and the next gun short question I can give in the long form is the Reynolds number and the Reynolds experiment and the expression for the head of loss due to the friction the loss of head due to the friction is said to be the topmost question this time hydraulic gradient and total hydraulic energy line and the problems are very important coming to this concept analysis of pipe networks these are the questions covered in unit 4 I hope you know the question paper pattern which I have taken the exam today later you can skip the unit 5 for the students who are supposed to score out of out mark and work out the fifth unit I am going to give you certain plans in how to work out the end of the video boundary layer characteristics for the thickness as well as the assumptions for a flat plate prove that maximum velocity in a circular pipe for viscous flow is equal to two times the average velocity of flow. I am going to work out few important concepts in form of derivations for this course. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do it immediately by pressing a bell icon. Local and average friction coefficient. Magnus effect is said to be the two mark question. Laminar flow through circular pipes. Annulus as well as parallel pipes. Plates is said to be the topmost question in form of short and log. Define the term drag and lift and the types and the displacement thickness versus movement thickness as well as energy thickness. If the difference is asked, you are supposed to work out using a tabular column and write only, only in point wise with the equation. How to find the drag on a flat plate due to the laminar and turbulent flow is said to be the topmost question. Without the concepts of unit 3, you cannot proceed with the unit 5 dear students. Now I am going to let you know the plans for an average student need to work unit 1, unit 2 as well as unit 3. These 3 units are the basic fundamentals for the course fluid mechanics which may help you in the next coming semester that is nothing but HHM hydraulics and hydraulic machinery. Without the concepts of unit 1, 2, 3, you cannot proceed with unit 4 and 5. A student looking to just pass need to thorough with all the units which I have mentioned here in form of very important question and you will be becoming a better civil engineer by the end of final year. You are getting a reputed jobs in the hydraulic session of the, any of the managing companies. Whereas the fourth and fifth unit is only for the students who are just looking for good marks but a student looking to pass need to work out 1, 2, 3. Hope you are going to like my videos as well as subscribe to my channel and do share this content with your friends which may help you in the coming semesters too. I am going to give you a few more short questions along with the answers for the floors, fluid mechanics for the mechanical engineers as well as civil as well as aeronautical engineering students. Good luck and God bless you all dear students. Do not forget to text me after taking the exams. God bless you.